This episode will be about our last days in Grenada, prepping and leaving our boat for the hurricane season, and flying back to Sweden to visit family and friends. Hope you enjoy it! Man känner sig som man är 12 igen. touring the island and oh it's dirty and the lens is dirty <laughs> now i've had three days of touring the island and the boat park is now begun since we are leaving the boat soon chris is conserving the water maker since we will be leaving it for three months and leo is playing around and i'm cleaning the boat it feels super weird that we will be leaving the boat soon. Uh, it will be fun to go to Sweden and meet all the friends uh, and family, but uh, I will miss the boat for sure. Yeah, no more sailing for a while. No, so time to get it down. I was really going to miss the boat, which now felt like our home. But I was also going to miss everyone we had gotten to know in Grenada. We had our last beer with some cruising friends and said goodbye to Larissa and Christoph and Leonora, who sailed on to Trinidad. And even if Larissa and I shed some tears, we were in fact going to reunite some months later. Then the time had come to get Yamaya out of the water. How does it feel? Now she's up. Good. I think it feels good. But it's like this. It's just like a roller coaster. Yeah. One minute it's oh my god, leaving the boat on the hard. Other minute it's like yes, we're going home, meeting family and friends. Oh yeah, it's both both sides. She weighs 14 tons now. She weighs uh, 9 from the factory and uh, now she's up 14. Yeah, she gained weight. She's getting fat, our old lady. We'll do some, uh, some, uh, some trimming. Yeah, she sucked up a lot of water. Yeah. I think it's nice for her to be up on the hard to dry out for a while. And they, they tell you water don't make you fat. <laughs> After we had dropped the hook on Spice Island Marine, it was time to get to work. Unfortunately, we didn't film much of the preparations because we had quite the tight schedule to get the boat ready. And Chris did all the work by himself while <laughs> I hung out with the King of Yamaya in an Airbnb. And when the king was asleep, I did some graphic design freelancing, edited a new vlog episode, washed clothes, packed our bags, or just sat down with a nice cup of coffee and enjoyed the caffeine rush. 
The last two weeks in Grenada were super busy and since we wouldn't have anyone checking on the boat while we were away, we wanted to make sure we had thought of everything before leaving Imaya. Our list was long and this is just some of the things that we did. Store the mainsail, get the new sun cover for Genoa, conserve water maker, wipe down the whole boat with vinegar. Then the day came to go back to Sweden. Okay, so it's half an hour until the taxi comes to pick us up and we're gonna go back to Sweden. We haven't filmed that much the last few days. It's been really hectic trying to get everything together. But uh, we're almost there. Packed up. Leo is ready. Steph is ready. Oh yeah, almost. Almost. Now we're just gonna offline sing some uh, cartoons for Leo for the flight and then we're good to go. After a long day, we were finally back in our home country. It is a very special feeling coming back to Sweden after having been away for a long time. Seeing everything with new eyes. Everything that is so familiar suddenly get a new feel to it. It's a bit like if you learn to play a new instrument and then listen to a song you've heard a million times before. Suddenly the song's different layers come through. The transition from boat life to land life is also quite amazing the first days. Suddenly you don't have to think about weather when you sleep, you sleep like a rock. You can put stuff down and they won't fall. Oh, and don't get me started on unlimited high speed internet and free flowing water. During our time in Sweden we focused on spending time with our friends and family. Planning the future with our boat and work. So here's a little compilation of some of the things we did in Sweden. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked the episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and uh, see you next time.